Hello and welcome to Scottish Ballet Health at Hand. My name is Tiffany and today I'm going to be guiding you through the 10 minute relax session. The aim of the session is to use gentle movement and breath to relax and soothe body and mind. I'll be guiding you throughout the session, but please remember to take it at your own pace and only do what feels comfortable for you. Let's begin. Do you find some space? Keep your legs nice and wide. I'm just going to root the feet into the ground to start off with. So maybe give those feet a bit of a wriggle into the ground for the balls of the feet, the heels. And I give those knees a little shake out of any tension you might be holding there. And the same with those hips, a little shake out. We shake out the arms, the shoulders. So it can be really heavy and floppy. And the same with the other one, shaking out the arms, the fingers, the shoulder. All that tension. Remember the neck, we're going to just do a few little rocks of the neck and the head. You can turn the ears to the shoulders, maybe. And if it feels nice and easy, not forcing it. And just find some place to settle. I'm going to invite you to close your eyes or cast your eyes down to the floor as we breathe. We're going to gently breathe in the nose and out through the mouth. Breathing in, we notice how the shoulders, the chest and the ribs rise and melt on the out breath. We're going to clear our minds of any thoughts, problems, worries or stresses we might be holding. We imagine a blank artist's canvas. Pure and white, untainted. Breathing in and long and slow, we exhale that tension out through the mouth. As we breathe in, you're going to gently allow one arm to float up. And if you want to, you can start to open your eyes, just keeping that gaze slightly soft. You inhale and the arm rises, you exhale and the arm floats back down again. It's weightless, no gravity. And you don't have to go at the same pace as me or the person beside you. Just try the other arm. We remember there's no right or wrong for this movement. It's about doing what feels right for you. You won't be judged. No expectation. Imagining I have a string attached to your wrist. There's no effort required. Let's try both together. We breathe in the arms float. Exhale, they drop. Weightless and they drop. Now this time we draw that energy up through the middle, palms coming up as we inhale, we exhale, we press down to the floor. And if you want, you can do a little pull the knees and a softening of those knees if you want to. That feels good for you. As we press down, it's like we're pressing away all that stress, any anxieties. Push them away from you. Push this one forward next. Again, in your own time. Press those stresses away. Each time we're breathing, a little bit more tension leaves our bodies. Try and get to the sides. And this is as if we're pressing the walls of cells away creating more space for us. And again, remember this is your own pace. You want that out breath to be long and slow, so don't rush. Let's try this above our heads. We draw in and we press the ceiling away from us. Seeing the high blue sky above our heads. We breathe in. We bring the hands together. 
I'm just going to rub those hands. And I want to bring your attention into yourself and into your hands. And you're looking at the detail of your hands. You're looking at the different colours, different shades, the textures. To really take the time to see. See what you see. Notice what you notice. The lines, the scars. Try feeling it with the palm of your hands, and your fingertips, and then really the back of the hand. And see how that changes the sensitivity. The scars, the memories. And now we take one finger and we're going to trace the hand, the fingertips, like you're drawing around them. And I want to really notice each finger. Again, the different textures, the lines, the colours, the size. Try the other hand, use the finger. Just gently tracing. You can move the hand around as you do this. That makes it easier. When you finish both hands, you bring them together again. And I'm going to ask you to stretch your imaginations now. You can imagine that in your hands you're holding white paint or a white liquid and this is going to trickle from one hand to the other, dripping off the fingers. And now we're going to count, coat our body in this white liquid, this white paint. So every inch of your skin is covered. The shoulders, the back, the chest, the neck, face and you're going to do this in your own time taking your time to notice how your body feels how the joints the skin finding all those little nooks and crannies the in of your elbow for example and really imagining this white paint what shade is it what shade of white and this is your imagination, there's no right or wrong. And white is the colour of purity, peace, comfort, takes away pain. And now this paint, or this liquid, is going to change colour. I want you to imagine what shade of blue. So it takes time to decide what shade is it. And blue is the colour of cooling, calming, cleansing. It's restorative. It's protective. So any of the body that you feel needs a little bit more protection, a little bit more calming. You might want to linger there a little bit longer. Imagining that blue liquid being absorbed into the skin. Painting ourselves. And now, one final change is green. And again, take your time to imagine what shade of green. Green represents balance. Recharge and healing. And again, anywhere that you feel needs a bit more healing, a bit more charge, feel free to linger. Feeling balanced by the green. And now we're going to bring those hands together again, stretching your imagination. I'm asking you to imagine that you have a white orb in your hand. And you're going to look at this orb from all angles, from above, from below, from the side. Really imagine in your mind's eye how big it is. What shade of white is it? Is it smooth? 
Is it matte? Is it shiny? You could feel it with the other hand. Is it textured? Rough or soft? Having a look above and below it. Is it flat that he likes? Or is it pure white? And remember, there is no right or wrong. See if it looks like further away. Thank you.